Hawaii Bowl champions. Doesn't that sound so good? <laughs> Joining us now on Living 808 is Rainbow Warriors football head coach Nick Rolovich. And a big day for you in the school. Uh, it's... I mean, it's been, it's been big. Yeah. All, you've been all over the place this morning already. But thank you for joining us here. It's a big day no. for you guys. But before we get to some of the activities that are going to be happening later today, as the new the sports reporter that I used to be, how about I go ahead and ask you? Please. Spring ball. You've had some time to assess it. How did it go for you guys? Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I saw a lot of improvement. I saw a, a Drew Brown that that was different than the Drew Brown that was during the season. I think he's he's itching to get to that top level. I mean, there's. You know, you talk about Colt, you talk about Timmy, you talk about some of the names in the past of quarterback. He wants to be in that in that group. So um, Dylan Colley, you know, really has done a nice job. Tuiunga offensively, the offensive line. There, there's a chance to be pretty special. Um, but if we take it for granted, we're, we'll, we'll just, you know, be average. But we, we didn't come here to be average. We want to we wanted compete and uh Take a Mountain West Championship home one day. Congratulations. You. you had some guys uh, sign some NFL yeah. contracts. Uh, so that's a good thing. The bad thing is you've got to fill those holes uh, come fall time. Right. You know, but I think it's, it's very encouraging for the new guys that, hey, you know, this, this dream can happen. If we do, there, there's four guys that did everything they were supposed to do, yeah. worked hard. You know, almost, I think every one of them's graduated already, or else I, I just talked to Marcus Kemp on the phone. He's mm -hmm. going to graduate this spring. Um, they, they just were great role models for, for that next level, and it's really helped some of the juniors who, who, who needed that, that example of leadership, and now it's their turn. Committed, it's a word that you're using a lot lately. Mm -hmm. uh, Operation I'm Committed. Yeah. Season tickets on sale today, but you've been visiting some of the season ticket holders. Tell us a little bit about Operation I'm Committed. Well, it was, uh, you know, it was a really great idea by marketing and just the people some people that renewed and somebody we hadn't in with you know we kind of set it up it was a it was a real elaborate plan and uh got in got to make some people happy and you know like paul the video you're seeing uh his mom helped set it up and he's a he's a big fan and then we got we, we did three of them that day it was it was uh it really was a great example of why hawaii's special and you took players the whole cheer squad was there yeah. and it was just I mean, just nice to see the looks on their faces. We just hit them with Hawaii energy, and, uh, you know, it's just fun to be a part of. Oh, that's so great. So uh, later on today, a downtown event, a rally at the corner of Bishop and South right. King Street, kickoff to uh, the season, ticket sales. It's, you've got a whole bunch of people involved. Bank of Hawaii, First Hawaiian right. Bank, American Savings, yep. all getting involved, and that's from all 1130 to 1. That's right, and uh, other sports will be down there. Yeah. It's not just for a football event, even though today's uh, season ticket uh, mm -hmm. sales kick off, but um, really just to kind of show our appreciation for, for the state and trying to bring everyone together. I think that's great. I mean, so uh, you're welcoming people. If you're not in the downtown area, there, I'm sure there's a place Come to mark. But if you're in the downtown area, yeah. it's the place to be at 1130. Right. <laughs> yes, well, 1130 to 1. So season tickets today, too. So it's a big day for UH. As the sports reporter, the former sports reporter that I that I was, I want to also take this moment to say that on May 21st, Dave Shoji Aloha Ball, the event is going to be a roast slash retirement celebration. 42 years coaching. Get your tickets now. $42 for this event. E-ticket Hawaii.com or at the Stan Sheriff Center box office. You won't want to miss this fun night. And finally, it's something that I always do and, and around you. Uh, I take out my phone and my app, yeah. and uh, it tells me how many days till kickoff. And so let's show that let's right show now. Let's show it. Shoo. Woo. Amherst, Massachusetts, August 26th, 116 days till kickoff. Now, uh, a kickoff time hasn't been determined. I don't, I don't think so. No, not yet. And so uh, that, that time that I put into my, my app was set for noon Hawaii time, I believe. So I think that's what we're trying to do so we can get out of there um, and get back home as soon as we can, get ready for our, our home opener. But yeah. uh, no, and then... You ended the regular season with UMass. Right. You start the regular season that's with UMass. That's right, and they were everybody good. who's at that game knows that, that that's a pretty good football team. Now we're going to their house, and we'll see. Uh, we, we know it's a challenge, and that's a good coach, too. 12 games uh, ending, folks, with BYU, but you can't forget about the Mountain West Conference. No, you can't. <laughs> Get a chance to play UCLA at the Rose Bowl. There's, there's some, uh, just some, but that BYU game at the end of the season, I have a feeling there'll be a lot of seats filled <laughs> for that one. Thanks for joining <laughs> Thank us. Appreciate you. it. Appreciate 11 it. 1130 to 1 downtown. Go check out the coaches and all the, the sports and the, some of the players and cheerleaders and band. They'll be down there kicking off season ticket sales. Get yours today for the 2017 Rainbow Warrior football season.